you're watching SHOT Show TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak, and I'm here live in the SHOT Show TV studio, joined with my next interviewee, Ashley Lubinsky, and she is the curator of the Cody Firearms Museum. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's been very busy so far. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about uh, the museum and what it's all about. Okay, so for the, those who don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, and so the Cody Firearms Museum, it's it's actually really awesome. It's a part of uh, a bigger complex called the Buffalo Bill Center of the West. It's five major museums and a research library under one seven acre roof. It's a huge facility in Cody, Wyoming, if you can believe it. And you know, it's kind of got something for everyone, but I run the gun museum and that itself, it's got 7,000 firearms. We've got more than 20,000 firearms related artifacts. And we don't just have Western firearms. We have guns from all the way back to 1425. Wow. We've got modern guns, military firearms, uh, Hollywood guns, which everybody loves. And so it's, it's really just a really unique place to come out. And the town is actually right outside the East Gate of Yellowstone. So it's a really lovely tourist destination. Mm -hmm. All right, tell us a little bit about what you've brought here from the museum uh, to show at SHOT Show. So we actually got our start, the Cody Firearms Museum, as the Winchester Arms Museum. And that was all the way back in 1975. And that relationship has kind of, you know, continued. We got over 4,000 firearms from Winchester. Wow. We got um, over 40,000 design drawings, all of the corporate records. And so we got our start there, and then we became the Cody Firearms Museum in 91. Well, Winchester is celebrating its 150th anniversary. Yes. So we have partnered with Winchester Ammunition and Winchester Repeating Arms to display some of the really historic guns throughout the history of Winchester. And we've got, um, it's a lot. Yeah, there's <laughs> uh, but a we've lot. Got a, we've got the uh, Great Basin gun, which is actually here from the National Park Service. And got, that's the gun that they found leaning up against the tree that yes. like, everyone went bananas about. Yeah. So I was just talking to Winchester and <laughs> yeah. they told, I was like, what? There's no way. Yeah. But that's incredible. And that's here. And they that's here. And that was actually with us temporarily. We have a renowned conservation department. So Great Basin National Park contacted us. We worked on the gun because, you know, you can imagine if it's been sitting outside, probably not. Um, right. The best of conditions. So we worked on it. We displayed it. And so they were in Nevada. So they just, you know, drove on down to be here. But we've also mm -hmm. got Buffalo Bill's Arena Winchester. And that was a smoothbore gun. And so it's a gun that he used in America, all over Europe, whenever he was performing with Buffalo Bill's Wild West. Wow. We've got presidential guns, uh, President John F. Kennedy's Model 70 and Eisenhower's 94. We've got um, John Olin. Now that's a name a lot of people from the industry might recognize, but mm -hmm. maybe not outside of it, which was in the 1930s, uh, Winchester was going bankrupt and the Olin Corporation bought them out of receivership. And we know Olin Corporation better as Winchester Ammunition. Uh -huh. And so John Olin, we've got his uh, Winchester model 1897 slide action shotgun, serial number 1 million. Wow. And his M1 carbine. I like that one because it shows you that you know Winchester is is such a diverse company. It's not just lever guns. You know, every one thinks of the, the lever action, but they've mm -hmm. made guns. You know, all the way up, and they still do, and they're very contemporary. And so we've got those, and then also Ernest Hemingway's gun and Zane Gray's gun. So just a few guns in the booth. Just a few. Just a like few. Like one or two. You <laughs> I know? can get it out in one breath sometimes. That's, not often, but that's uh, that's <laughs> impressive. That's an impressive range you guys have there. Yeah. Now, what are you looking forward to with the museum in the future? You guys want to expand? And yes. Uh, what can people expect in the future? So the Cody Firearms Museum was built in its in its current condition in 1991. And we try to upgrade the museums every 20 or so years. And so we are looking to actually redo the entirety of the Cody Firearms Museum. Like I said, we've got 7,000 guns. I've only got about 4,000 on display. So we're going to get more guns on display. Wow. And we're working a lot with the modern industry to get more contemporary firearms in there and just have a really great historic and contemporary museum that people can go and you know have something that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about that. That's still probably about three to five years out. But we do a lot with the industry to kind of get a sense of what it is and where the market's changing so that we can make sure to stay relevant. Yeah. If somebody wants to put their newer gun uh, in the on display, what can they do? How can they get in contact? Well, they can contact me. Uh, if you go to centerofthewest.org and you go to the Cody Firearms page, you'll find all the information about who you can contact. But if you have a gun that you'd like to donate, new or old, we like all of them. Uh, if you just no contact judgment. me, no judgments here. <laughs> uh, so you can just contact me and uh, send me some pictures. That tell me the story about the gun, and we'll take a look at it and see right. if we can uh, make it work. Right, they gotta give you the good, the, the hard sell, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, and tell us real quickly, what else can people experience when they come to Cody? 
So Cody is a really great town. It is uh, kind of the epitome of the cowboy town. William F. Buffalo Bill Cody founded it. And so in the summer, if you are an outdoor enthusiast, I mean, there's hiking, there's white water rafting, wow. Yellowstone's right there. Um, if you're interested in seeing kind of what the cowboy town is, we have a gunfight in the street every day uh, throughout the summer. It's a reenacted gunfight. No way. No, I, I, it's, it's so true. It's, like it's John survived. Wayne, like oh, yeah. out of Hollywood, huh? Oh yeah, and, it's, um, and then there's a rodeo every night. Oh. And then the center itself is just really great. I mean, we've got an art museum, the gun museum, of course, the Buffalo Bill Museum, an Indian Museum, and a Natural History Museum. Wow. And probably the, one of the coolest things we do in the summer is we rescue um, injured raptors. Mm. Uh, and I always have to say, not the dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we've got golden <laughs> eagles, we've got turkey vultures. And so we do a program with these uh, raptors that we kind of take in. And people love getting to see the live raptors oh, in the yeah. museum. And it's, it's just a riot. People love it. That's great. Well, I'm sold. Well, <laughs> I'm <laughs> planning a trip to Cody. <laughs> um, but if you can't make it to Cody and you are here at SHOT Show, just go on. Where are you guys at? Where are the guns at? We are so in the see? Winchester Ammunition and Repeating Arms booth. Right. And um, we're also downstairs on level one in the nonprofit booth section. So right when you walk in the lobby, we're right, right there. So you can come check us out and get some cool. more information. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching SHOT Show TV.